Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use WorldGuard. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section and type in WorldGuard. Click Install Latest to install the plugin, and you will also need WorldEdit for this plugin to work, so make sure you install that too. Now restart your server, and you're ready to go. To configure this plugin, there's actually not much you need to do, so we'll quickly go over this. As default, everything should work normally and not a lot would be changed in the world. But if you wanted to change things, you can. You can change things like enabling MySQL if you wish, changing things like being invincible automatically, change the wand item, change the different protection settings here, mob settings, enabling and disabling the chest protection and a bunch more. As I said before, we're going to keep things as they are, because the default settings are pretty good. I'd like to mention that you could also change all these settings per world as well. So if you have multiple worlds and want different settings in different worlds, you can do that too. Just go to the worlds file and select the world that you want to configure the settings for. That's about it for the configuration, let's get into game. All commands can be found on the wiki, but I'll show you some right here now. Slash god will enable invincibility and slash ungod will disable it. Slash heal will heal you and other players if you specify. Slash stack will actually organize your inventory and stack items, so this is pretty handy. Things like slash stop fire and slash allow fire will disable and enable fire spread respectively. Of course, there are more commands, so make sure you check out the wiki to see those. This plugin also has a simple chest protection feature, however you'll have to enable it in the config first. To protect a chest, just place a sign below the chest and type in lock surrounded by square brackets on the first line, and on the second line type in your username, and on the rest you can type other player names who you want to give access to the chest. It's that simple. Of course, it's not as powerful and customizable as other chest protection plugins, so if you want something better, I suggest something like Block Locker. The main part of this plugin is being able to create and customize regions. Regions are basically areas of the world which can work with flags to enable and disable certain things like PvP, building, TNT explosions, mob spawning and a ton more. Right clicking on the ground with leather as specified in the config will show you the region you're currently in. It will also tell you if you can build in that region or not. Of course you can change the item to be whatever you want in the config. To make a region, you must use the world edit. We have a tutorial explaining how to use it. Click the eye in the top right corner to watch it, or use the link in the description. I'm going to select the region using my wand and expand it vertically. Then, to create the actual region, type in slash RG, define, and then the region name. This will automatically create a protected region. If you don't want it protected, set the pass through flag to allow. To set specific flags, type in slash RG flag, then the region name, and then the flag, and then whether you want to allow or deny it. In this example, I'm going to disable full damage by setting the flag to false. All the flags can be found on the wiki page, so I suggest you go look through them to find all the flags that you might want to change. Now, let's check the region info. To do this, type in slash RG info, then the region name. Here you'll see it, the type of region and the priority it has. The priority is the more important part, and it comes into play when two or more regions overlap each other. The region with the higher priority number will override the flags of the region with the lower priority number. This way you can create special places like healing outposts and PvP areas. To change the region priority, type in slash RG set priority, then the region name, and then a number. With WorldGuard, you can also allow players to claim land. To claim land, select what you want to claim with the world edit wand, and type in slash RG claim, and then the region name. This will make it so that people can claim certain parts of the world. There are even plugins out there that make it possible to integrate an economy system with this. You can limit the amount of regions per player 
and the amount of blocks the player can claim. This is all done in the config. However, to use any of these commands the player must have correct permissions. With the correct permissions you can even manage what flags the player can use on the claimed land. Of course, as always, all WorldGal permissions can be found on the wiki. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.